Hello everyone. Um, let's have a look at the Jupiter and Jupiter Lab lesson now. Uh, this is a one and a half hour lesson typically that has a few different episodes here. Let's have a look at the motivation first. So we give a little bit of history to Jupiter, the Jupiter project and Jupiter Lab, discuss some common use cases and give then a little bit of uh, inspiration by looking at two case examples, the gravitational wave discovery few years back and this well-known paper activity inequality. We show how these projects have made all their analysis available via notebooks. And we then jump into this episode here where we introduce the interface. So here we get acquainted with the Jupyter Notebooks or Jupyter Lab. Um, so we focus on the details, the command mode, the editing mode, what the cell is, uh, the difference between markdown cells and, uh, and, and code cells. And we give a, a small example on how, how you can use the different cells and, and what type of, of uh, image and the media you can uh, integrate into a notebook. But you also show the command shortcuts and how uh, you can enable version control of notebooks. Yeah. Uh, after that, we uh, show an example, a first computational notebook. We just give a demo. Um, this is either type along or left as an exercise. This is useful th to those that are new to Jupiter. Typically, I think around half of our participants have been new to Jupiter and the other half are already using it. So we uh, have an example of calculating pi using a random Monte Carlo method. And we build up this computational narrative step by step. We add markdown cells with some uh, headings and comments. We add some mathematics, a uh, figure, and then we start writing code here. Just an example. People don't need to be familiar with Python. Uh, and we show here how you can plot from within the notebook. And then this is sometimes an optional exercise here. People can play around with the Git extension that Bjorn just mentioned. Uh, to see how you can work with Git from inside Jupyter Lab. Um, here we have an episode with uh, some nice extension. Well, these nice features of, of notebooks, how you can use shell commands, magics, and widgets. Uh, this is sometimes even useful to those that already use uh, Jupyter. They learn something new. They learn how to use widgets or magic, some new magic commands, perhaps. Then we have exercises, uh, many different exercises with if different topics. This is usually left uh, for people to work on at home, or if there's some time left, uh, they can pick one or two exercises and solve it. But at the end is a very important episode here about sharing notebooks. So uh, with the service MyBinder, uh, you can share notebooks. And we <coughs> show how you can get the MyBinder batch in the Git repository. And, um, and since Jupyter Notebooks is about sharing concepts, ideas, or make your results available for others, we find uh, it very important that everybody at least uh, get a, a feel of how MindBinder uh, works. Exactly, so one of the main focuses here is how Jupyter Notebooks can be used for enhancing the reproducibility of research. So we encourage people to use Jupyter Notebooks as supplementary material to published articles. We show how people can share uh, their analysis on, uh, on GitHub and Binder. And uh, yeah, and then apart from that, we also introduced new users uh, to Jupyter to, to how it works uh, and also teach a few tips and tricks to those who already have some experience. And finally, we have a recommendation on um, pros and cons of, of using Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, 